Hey, so welcome back. Today we will be doing a makeup look. I want to do like a spring look. So I will be using this palette right here. I picked this up um, from the American Beauty Show. This is by Morphe. You can use what you have. I'm going to open it up so you guys can see. These colors are pretty bright. So I thought that this palette would be perfect to do like a spring look. But like I said, you guys can use whatever you have. As you can see, I have already did my face. I've did my foundation, did my highlighting and my contouring. I have my satin powder up under up under my eyes just in case I have any fallout from the eyeshadow. So let's get started. You want to start off with a primer or a base. I will be using this white base. This is by NYX. This is their white jumbo pencil. And I'm just going to place this on both of my eyelids because I really want the colors to come through so I'm just gonna apply and then I'm just gonna blend the colors out and like I said this will make the eyeshadows show really really bright so I'm gonna take my uh, flat eyeshadow pencil brush I mean and I'm just gonna smudge that out and blend it Okay, so I have that eyeshadow base blended out and I took some up into my crease because I'm going to place a bright orange color in the crease and I really, really want the color to come through. So I just took the excess and just blended it up into the crease. Okay, so next I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to take this bright orange right here, like this burnt orange. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to swirl some on the brush. And I'm going to tap it a little bit to get off any excess. And I'm just going to apply it into my crease. So I'm just going to raise my eyebrow and then I'm just going to apply it right here in the crease. And you guys see how bright that color is? So I'm just using windshield wiper motions and I'm applying it to the crease. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit more color. And I'm going to apply a little bit more. And then I'll do the other eye. So I'm just applying it to the crease. Okay. So I have that burnt orange in my crease on both eyes. And then I'm going to take this orange right here. And I'm going to apply that on top of that burnt orange because I really want the eyes to be kind of orangey. So I'm just going to keep applying it on top of that. Then I'm going back and forth with it to blend it. Okay, so now that we have our crease color, I'm going to take this pink right here, this frosted pink color, and I'm going to apply that. To my lids and don't worry about if the color is looking really really bright because we're going to go in and we're going to add another color to our crease to darken in to give the eyes some depth so i'm just placing this pink right on top of my lid and i'm patting the color on because i really want to pack this color so i'm just patting the color on going back and forth with it Okay, so I am done with that eyelid color. So next, I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to pick up this black right here. Just a little because these uh, eyeshadows are very pigmented. So I'm just going to pick up just a little and I'm using a crease brush that a crease blending brush from uh, Elf. So I'm going to pick some up and I'm going to go right into my crease with the color because I want to give this look some depth so I'm going right in the crease with it and then I'm going to blend it out just like that I'm going to take another eyeshadow I got this from um, a makeup company named Medusa Makeup. This is a red. So I'm going to blend this. I'm going to blend the black out with the red. 
and it's going to make it like a plum color. So I'm just going to continue to blend and as you guys can see it is already softening that black and I'm just going to blend it out. Okay, so I have that blended. Next, I'm going to take this peach color right here. And I'm just going to add a little to my brow bone. Just a little. Just like that. And then I'm going to add a little over here. And I'm going to make sure that it's blended out. Just to make that brown bone pop. Next, I am going to line my lids. And I will be using my favorite liquid eyeliner. This is by Wet n Wow. And I'm just going to add a wing. So I'm going to start in the middle, work my way to the back, begin winging it, bring it back forward, and then I'm just going to fill the front of my eye in. So I applied my lashes off camera. You guys have seen me apply my lashes plenty of times. I also will link the video to how to apply uh, lashes if you guys want to see how I do it. And I'm wearing my favorite uh, lashes, Ardell number 114. And I didn't line my uh, lower lash line because I just haven't been wearing a uh, liner on the lower lash line. But I have pumped my bottom lashes with mascara and this is my favorite mascara as of right now. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. So as you guys can see, those bottom lashes are full of mascara. So next, let's dust away all of this setting powder. Okay, then I'm going to apply my blush. I am using um, e.l.f. blush palette and I will be using this color right here. And I'm just going to blend the blush out. Next, I will be taking another blush. This is from MAC. This is the color sketch, and I'm just going to use this to intensify my contour. So I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to sweep it onto my contour line. And then I'm just going to go across my temples with it, because I really want my contour to pop. And I'm just going to... Continue blending it out. So I am done with my contour. Next we're going to do the lips. And I will be using um, this pink from one of my favorite makeup artists, Danessa Myrick, from her, from her makeup line, I Make You Beautiful. And this is a matte pink, and I thought this color would be perfect because... Uh, pink is one of my favorite lip colors and it's spring so why not so I'm going to take a black I mean a brown lip pencil I purchased from the beauty supply store and I'm just going to line my lips with it and then I'm going to blend and then I'm just going to take this pink And I'm going to place it in the center.
and I'm just going to blend it out. And as you guys can see, this is a very matte pink, but you can use any color that you want, any lip color of your choice. And to finish this look, I'm just going to add some bronzer just to give my cheeks more of a glow. And then I'm going to go down my nose with it and on my chin with it. So, I hope you guys like this spring look. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.